Hello, good afternoon. I've just finished work and today I'm gonna go thrifting in Gravesend. So I'm gonna take you with me, see what we find. I'm on the lookout for something to wear to go and see Barbie because I haven't found anything yet and it's getting really close. So that's what I'm gonna go do and let's go. Right, look at them clouds, aren't they lovely? So we're on the train, here I am. I'm on the train, the dreaded tre Thames link is the train that I was on here, it's so uncomfortable. Just going through lovely Rochester there and a bit of countryside, bit of river, and now we are in Gravesend. I had to get McDonald's first, not gonna lie, I was hungry. First shop was Eleanor. Um, it's a little charity shop. I've only ever been in two places that have this shop, I think. I'm not really sure if it's a regional or a national, but it had some cute bits. Now off to the YMCA. YMCAs are just a whole other kind of charity shop. They're all bloody massive. And they're a little bit jumbly, which I enjoy. So many shoes. Sparkly trousers, can't complain at that. I did get a couple of bits in here. I thought that top was quite sweet, actually. Then off to Marie Curie. This one's an outlet, I think, and everything's quite cheap. That dress was 150. It was lovely. Quite enjoyed it. Nice little skirt. Off to Sense. This Sense is unreal. It is massive. I could spend a long time in here. And to be honest, I did. Um, there's just a ridiculous amount of stuff I'm here for it and um, it's always quite quiet in there too which is nice for me to get really into my browsing game some cool tees here um, some nice jackets and then off to a cancer research outlet I thought those jeans were kind of cool AGK I clearly wasn't in a massive filming mood I didn't film that much in the other shops I guess um, Red Cross, <laughs> we, we're just pounding through these. Oh, I didn't film anything in Red Cross Oxfam. This Oxfam did not have anything in for me. Um, some Zara stuff as per. They've got loads of Zara stuff in all the Oxfams nowadays, all brand new stuff. I'm not really a big fan. And then the last one in Gravesend is this little RSPCA, which I really like. It's, again, a little bit jumbly. I'm a fan of it. This was the reduced rail. Um, I didn't come home with anything from here, though. I think the YMCA was the only shop I bought anything in in Gravesend. This little cami top was pretty sweet. I liked it, but I'm not really a big brown girl. Um, and then from Gravesend, I decided to get off the train at Strood and do the shops here. So first we've got Demelza. Um, I usually do quite well on this Demelza, but there was nothing there for me today, which is fine. This little top was pretty. I was in a very, like, 90s kind of Y2K mood with the tops I was showing today, I feel like. Next, I popped into Shelter. And again didn't come home with anything from here but they always have really nice things in this shelter which is great so it's nice for a little browse and then went to my favorite the Strood community shop I bloody love it in here um I love these shoes but they were not my size I was devastated but yeah I really love this shop again it's jumbly it's big you can kind of get lost in here for like 20 minutes half an hour um it's just a vibe I'm a fan that little dress thing was reminding me of my friend jade aka thrifty finney on instagram um yeah flicking through the little tops that little handmade jacket top thing was quite cute the pink polka dot one um i did get something in here it was a bargain two pound fifty you'll see it a bit later and i will try it on as well but yeah just flicking through the skirts and the trousers and stuff they often have nice artwork too which is nice and then off to the cancer research superstore in the little retail park bit in Strood. It's, it can be quite hit or miss in here for me really didn't get anything today but you know how it is and then when I left here, I walked over to Rochester. I didn't actually film that much. Here's a couple of bits that I saw, but that's it really, I think. Oh, hello, I have returned. I am a bit windswept and, if I'm honest, absolutely sweating and tired because I just don't think a human is supposed to do 
13 and a half thousand steps in four hours. I just don't think we're supposed to. Um, I'm absolutely sick of my fringe being in my eyes today. So I'm gonna do a, gonna do a bit of a Moses and give it a good part. Um, so recap. I went to Gravesend. I thrifted in Gravesend. I then got the train to Strood. I thrifted in Strood and then I walked over to Rochester, thrifted in Rochester, and then I got the bus home. Now, I did not find anything to wear to the Barbie film. I'm most displeased. Um, but I did buy some things. So I'll show it to you, show you and I will try things on even though I'm so hot and flustered right now. So please appreciate the fact that I'm gonna do a try on clip for you. Please give the video a like. I think I deserve it. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna end up working back to front here because obviously the things at the top of my bag are the things that I got last. Um, I got this blue gingham jumpsuit and I'm just as confused about it as you are because it's got one of those little cross straps. Whoever is drilling right now, I'd love it if you'd stopped. Absolutely would appreciate it so much if you stopped and never started again. Okay, we're going to have to work through the drilling. So, yeah, it's a... Honestly, it's just like a cheapy sort of one. Um, I think I would have actually... I've only just clocked this. Would have preferred a wider leg than this. Hmm. Got some of the shop's dust come home with me. Wonderful. Um, so I'll have to try them on and see. But they were £2.50 in the Strood Community Shop. So, you know, £2.50. It's fine. Um, what's next? Next I got some, just some like comfy kind of trousers. I got these in Cancer Research in Gravesend. They were £2. They're a little M&S number. I'm, I'm confused by the colour. The colour has flummoxed me, actually. If I didn't know any better, I would assume the previous owner has dyed these. They, yeah, someone's had a go at dyeing these. You know, fair play. So these were khaki, and someone has dyed them um, this colour. I'm not sure what this colour is. I reckon they'd maybe try to do it black. I don't know. Um, but they just looked, honestly really comfy and that's all I strive for in life what is their material what are you made out of because that might be why I didn't dye very well 100% flax in brackets linen I've heard of linen I don't know the work of flax I'm not familiar with her um I got those trousers what more can I say I got like a shirt dress thing, like a white shirt dress, because I have like men's oversized white shirts, but I feel like they don't work for shirt dresses. Um, so this was £1.50 in YMCA. I've just noticed quite a big stain on the back of it. This will be better to show when it's on. Um, yeah, it's absolutely filthy, which I've only just noticed, but hey, it was £1.50. Um, well, I went into Hobbycraft and bought some fabric paint, which I'm sure you're all thrilled to hear about. Two pound, that was. Reduced from six, I believe. Um, what's next? Oh, this is, this is not charity shop things. This is Fab Fresh, Feel Fab, Smell Fresh, Peach. Refreshes clothes and fabrics. Kills 99.9% .9 bacteria. I already have a bottle of this. And I only ever see it in Pound Stretcher. And I don't have a Pound Stretcher that near me. So I decided to pick up another bottle of that. Um, in Sense, I got a zebra print skirt for £3.50. It's kind of... Oh, I can't catch a break. This keeps happening to me lately. Someone's had a go at altering this and just done like a dart, I guess. Um... <laughs> Wish she hadn't have done that. I mean, I can easily unpick it. I'll see when I try it on if I need to unpick it or not, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of like a a flowy little skirt thing. I don't know. It, it would be good for summer. It would actually be good like all year round, which is nice. I like that. Um, 
I got a nice little pink shirt. Now I know what you're thinking, Hannah, you could wear that to the Barbie film. Absolutely I could if the Barbie film was coming out in a time of year where I won't be sweating um, because this is not a natural fibre. Um, but yes, theoretically, if the Barbie film was coming out in four months from now, this would be great for it. I'm just trying to do the button up so I can hold it up nice for you. Um, so this is originally from Primark. I bought it in the YMCA. It cost me £2. And it's just a nice little ruched pink blouse. Very sweet. I like her a lot. Lovely. Is that it? Oh no, there's more. Going crazy. Um, I got just like a black kind of camisole slip dress thing. I know what you're thinking, Hannah. You have loads of black slip dresses that slip under dresses, but I don't have one like this. So I wanted it because I, I live by slip dresses under other see-through dresses. Um, so I wanted that, thank you. Um, is that all I got? That looks like all I got. Yes, that is what I got. And I am now probably gonna drag myself out every day this week to find something to wear to the Barbie film because I'm just that pathetic. But yeah, let's try on those bits. And then I can jump in the shower and have my dinner. I'm having mac and cheese, thank you for asking. And I'm going to get a piece of bread and butter it and I'm going to make the mac and cheese sandwich. That's my dinner plans, great. Um, ignore my mess. This is sad, this top is too tight. And I'm really sad because I actually really like how it looks, but I'm like, it's just cutting me here. Like I'm like, I can't move. Um, and the skirt, actually, thank you to whoever put a couple of darts in there because it's too big. Um, so that's great. Um, it's, I might be able to just about get away with it as it is now, if I have something tucked into it maybe. Um, but it's, it's quite big, which is a surprise. I hate this that's excellent and yes i have a black pair of pants on thank you for noticing um this just looks like i've put on my dad's shirt really doesn't it um yeah won't be wearing that and it has got such filthy dirty marks on it oh my god it's so see-through you just saw my bum great trousers are fine I like the trousers that's good um I might try and dye them again myself at some point, to be honest, because they do look a bit tatty. Um, but I'm a fan. I love a loose trouser like this in the summer, so I can't really go wrong with that. Okay, I think I like this, but I don't like the length. So I might have to cut some off the bottom. Thinking like, Maybe like that much, a bit more. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, I think for two pound fifty, I quite like it. Um, yeah. And the good thing about cutting something like this is that it has a guideline, effectively, so you're not going to go too wonky, which is great. Uh, that's it from me today. I am done. I think I've tried on everything I have. I didn't show you that black vest dress thing because it was just a black vest dress um but yeah that's everything i got today i will have to persevere trying to find an outfit for barbie i'll keep you posted on that i suppose and yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you very soon for another video goodbye <laughs>